What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today I have another unboxing video for you. That's right. A quick unboxing video for you guys to check out. I have no clue what knife is in here, but what I will tell you is that I know it's coming from the Lefty EDC knife pass around. So that is good news. Shout out to Kevin, aka Lefty EDC. Check out his channel if you haven't already done so. He makes awesome knife and EDC content as well. So definitely check him out. This one here is coming from knife standards as well all right check out his channel also he makes a knife and edc content as well that being said we have a knife here that is doing the honors today i just unboxed this one here is the concept cosmos and this thing is just wild looking check this thing out we have 20 cv steel on the warncliffe harpoonish looking blade we have titanium bolsters with carbon fiber inlays you know it's <laughs> just uh, i'm just getting used to this knife i just unboxed it here recently so definitely check out the unboxing on this knife if you haven't already but without further ado we're going to get into this package keep in mind this knife and every other knife that you see in this video including the one we're about to unbox will be linked down below in the description so if you want to learn more about this knife or any knife check out those links it does help the channel out if you end up purchasing a knife through those links but that is entirely up to you and absolutely zero extra cost. With that in mind, let's cut into the thing. Now, I already tried my best to salvage the package earlier uh, and I couldn't because th these have the little sticky, little sticky stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make an incision right over here. That Cosmos is cutting like butter, right? And uh, let's check this thing out, Woo, baby. All right, that's everything there, sure is and uh, no clue what we're working with here unless we read the back all right that's a good start miguel we have the titan titan and m390 blade with titanium hardware style is blue all right so those are our cues going in here of course i don't know what knife is in here but you probably do based on the title and thumbnail so let's just get to the thing here all right got the nice little plastic case going on which i love and bam let's take a look at this thing Ooh, here. <laughs> oh, here! Oh, gotta love this tiny little guy. I remember seeing this one on Lefty's channel recently. So, Blade Modern Designs. This one is the Titan M390 on the blade, hardware, titanium, and this one is in blue. Okay, so let's let's take a closer look at. So let's uh, take a closer look at this thing. Let's take it out of the plastic cover here, and. Uh, <laughs> holy smokes first impressions okay uh it is it's a small knife clearly right and uh i like the fact that it's nice and rounded right the titanium feels good in the hand uh, so as you would expect gotta check out this blue accent right here i wonder what sort of materials were used there because that looks like a crystallized titanium or something uh yeah it looks really really different than anything that i've seen before if I'm being really honest, holy smokes, right? This one is a frame lock. We have the cutout, stress relief cutout here on the outside. Um, we have a deep pocket carry clip here for the most part. And it is a flipper deployment. We got some thumb studs going on. And yeah, let's just check out the action on this thing here without further ado. Here we go. Bam, holy smokes. Check out the blade on this thing holy macaroni okay well this is certainly different right gonna kind of pause for a second here and just sort of take it in let me give it a nice little wipe all right so what would you classify this at i mean is this a tanto chubby a little chubby tanto going on here m390 on the steel and i gotta love love the bell satin finish on this thing so we have a compound ground I believe, based on what I'm looking at, both of them feel like a flat grind. So we got a flat grind with the vertical lines going this way, another flat grind going on here towards the front with sort of diagonal bell satin lines going on. Man, this thing looks different for sure. Okay, so standard grip right here sort of leaves the pinky uh, in the air. So what you wanna do probably is make use of that finger choil that you have going on there which is nice and wide by the way so which is good and if i do that then i can accommodate the entire hand okay which is good now that that part right here feels good and comfortable I like the fact that it's rounded quite a bit the titanium scales are also nice and chamfered rounded all around that feels good uh, you don't have a ton of cutting distance with this one uh, but the cutting distance that you do have i'm sure 
this thing should cut really good. We're gonna be testing here in just a moment. Almost, you know, most of <laughs> this front blade, you know, kind of makes you, you know, wanna like scrape something off, kind of like a scraper, right? In a way, if you had like a label or something that wasn't coming off, I can see you scraping it off really good. Uh, you, this tip right here is pretty useful. So even if you had to do sort of like utility cuts and stuff like that, I'm sure you could make really good use of this tip here. All right, nice and pokey, I'll tell you that. And the blade is a little bit on the thick side too. Okay, let's check out the action. So good access to the lock bar. All right, take a look at that. It's nice and comfortable to disengage. And it's a drop shot. It is more of a shake shutter. All right, let's check out the thumb deployment. All right, I like the sound of that. All right, can I reverse flick it? All right, sure can. The detent on this thing is pretty, I don't want to say too aggressive. All right, it is a little bit on the strong side. Is this thing on washers or ball bearings? I'm not getting the action of a washer. Same ball bearings, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go with, mm, really not, really, really can't tell, tell you the truth. All right, there's a stop pin right up here. I right, can see where the blade opens, right? Sort of stops right there. It is milled on the inside. I just noticed that all the different cutouts in the inside there for weight reduction. Show those help quite a bit. Okay, reverse cutting on this thing, right? Again, you really don't have a lot of cutting geometry. So the worst that can happen is you slide off of your cut, if anything, after cutting, right? But man, talk about a, a premium tiny little guy right here. We got a matching blue backspacer. Check out how they did your linear solution for my linear people out there, right? That's interesting. Got a little bit of a uh, pin sort of going on there. A little barrel going on works as your linear solution. And yeah, nice blue accented backspacer held with, held with two screws on either side. And yeah, I wish it was a little bit more drop shot, but there's barely any weight on the blade itself. So drop shot action on this one. All right. Yeah, let's do some size comparisons on this thing, shall we? Uh, right off the bat, you know, I'm thinking I should probably compare it to something like the Devo Nip. Okay, check this one out. Devo Nip right there, hanging on, right? If I use the knife that we just unboxed, right? Check out the, the difference here is you know <laughs> astonishing difference right there with the concept cosmos all right so yeah this will definitely be in the small size of knife category so let's just do the usual here's the pm2 there's your pair of 30 right there so obviously shorter than both of those all right maybe if you own one of these this sort of obviously gives you an idea demco 80 20.5 in the shark's foot blade and the slicer shark cub smaller brother right all of these look like huge knives next to this tiny guy to say the least rot model one and rot model two cjrb pyrite and the vosti raccoon Yep, so certainly, I think that about makes a point right there. So yes, we're dealing with this form, small form factor EDC knife. And let's just check out the performance here. Let's see how well it cuts. We're gonna conduct a very scientific paper cutting method here. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna get some slices with this first edge right here. Well, it will cut, ladies and gentlemen. All right, to no one's surprise, it certainly cuts. What about this other blade or other edge here all right let me see if i can use that okay that one catches a bit i mean the slice i mean it does cut it's just that you're slicing it or sliding the blade across the paper in a little bit of an awkward way check out the swirl on that one so yes we know it's going to do paper all day every day it's, it does get pretty thick here towards the top of the blade but it is a full flat grind so let's see how it does with some cardboard all right, let's see. The biggest challenge here, again, is making sure I make the best use of that small little cutting path that I have. So yeah, as you can see, I slid off of the cut 
it will cut there's absolutely no doubt about that it's just that you have to manage you know make sure you don't sink this corner or taper off completely but yes <laughs> it will cut very very well probably not the best use right as a cardboard cutter because you probably want something with a little bit of a longer cutting length for that but it will cut right so I typically don't do this during the unboxing, but I'm just way too curious to wait until the review video. So we're talking about an inch, like 1.3, 1.35, not even an inch and a half on this one. And probably just a tad bit over one inch on this other one, like 1.15, perhaps 1.2. So yes, <laughs> definitely a very interesting piece to say the least that uh, yeah I'm gonna be checking this one out of course you guys know the drill by now I carry the knife for some time before I drop a comprehensive review video here in the channel of course this was just an unboxing and first impression so this was not the review video by any stretch of the imagination I'm just sharing with you what my reaction and first impressions experience is all about having just taken this guy out of the box that's it guys again this guy will be linked down below if you want to check it out it does help the channel when you use those links but again that is entirely up to you with that in mind if you made it to the very end you guys are the real mvps go ahead and like the video if you haven't already it really helps push the video to a larger audience within youtube and also subscribe to the channel if you aren't already i promise you it'll be worth coming back for more i make edc and knife content like this on a daily basis lastly if you want to support the channel a step further there's a link down below for patreon where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar a month or you can simply support the channel right here on youtube by becoming a channel member you'll get access to exclusive perks that's it guys check out the unboxing on the concept cosmos all right i put a video card for this one here for you guys to check it out next all right quite a difference between these two to say the least but hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day take care and i'll be catching you on the next one peace